David, your four days to your camp. Um, what has what has been different this time around as opposed to years gone by? Uh, you know, it's uh, taking charge of everything. Well, that's, that's the other one. Different. Lots different of being here. Yes. I'm trying. I got to talk somebody in immigration to stop him from coming here. I hope you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's um, well, 28 years is number one, right? The support is growing. The pieces that were added to the camp this year is working with the parents really doing some pieces to get them to understand what winning looks like what does winning look like when you're in a game so uh what i've been doing actually um a couple of days of workshops as the little people on the field getting the, the training really focus on giving them some tools one of it was uh, strategic planning for games and training so it makes it easier for the little people to reflect um, last night we was really focusing on giving them a tool to understand that personality traits and how it affects them as players and how they reflect and recover as young leaders or captains so but I tell you what being here it's a lot better than being in the US with that heat I mean a nice cool breeze I really enjoy coming to Bermuda and you know just thanks to Valdez you know, Valdez has been a great support I really enjoyed the support's been awesome this is 28 years 28 years what have you learned about yourself over the 28 years in doing this you want me to answer that, right? Yes. I've learned that I'm getting very old. Yeah, Mr. Earl Basin. <laughs> Let me tell you what I've learned. I, really, I'm serious. I've learned that I'm getting old. I, we restarted myself and Sean Go to start this clinic. It was actually 1990, 91. The, the age we had, the oldest age group was 16. We was 19. So when I'm walking by yeah, somebody at 40 plus years old, I'm looking at him like this son he makes sense to me uh, but no on all on other serious pieces that I've grown a lot right I've grown to understand is that our culture and climate here the amount of talent that we have and that I have to continue to come back and give information that's going to empower little people as athletes everybody wants to be a pro everybody wants that full scholarship the reality is that out of 330,000 young people that apply for scholarships full scholarships 3,000 plus get them pros 0.01 make it professionally and then when you're looking at it, is that making sure as an athlete I keep them in, and give them the importance of education is huge and it's very important all right well I'll let you get to your youngsters because I know that's what you're excited about yes and it's nice seeing you Mr. Earl Basin I thought we were friends seems like I only get you don't call me anymore yeah, I hope you leave this piece on it. David, we were on the phone together on Friday, weren't we? I did say I'm getting old and I don't really remember <laughs> things, right? Nah, it's a pleasure, but thanks. 